Well, I'm so honored to be here. And just before the interview, I was thinking that the phrase, the sky's the limit, doesn't really apply anymore to you. Aww. And I'm just so honored to be talking to you. Well, it's absolutely wonderful to be here. I'm so glad that you guys could come out. Um, so first, how are you feeling about this mission? Um, super excited, frankly. Um, it's, we definitely have a ways to go. We still are going through training and we have a, a lot of work ahead of us, mm -hmm. but it's been just an, really an incredible experience to work with this crew and work with the team on this, this whole journey. How do you think your experience as a Shining Mountain student led you to your past today and especially the arts and creative arts especially? Mm -hmm. I feel like one of the really important things that you get out of a Waldorf education is curiosity. Mm -hmm. And curiosity to go and learn and explore what's out there in the world. Mm -hmm. And so I, I certainly fell into engineering and fell into a path that I don't think I would have anticipated. Mm -hmm. But having an arts background where you're bringing creativity and you're bringing imagination mm -hmm. into problem solving, um, like there, there's a really incredible synergy between those. Mm -hmm. So I think between the ability to learn and the curiosity to learn mm -hmm. with the imagination to solve problems, like somehow this is, this is where it brought me. Cool. Um, if we were to talk to 10 year old Sarah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what would she have said she wanted to do when she grew up? I think at 10 years old, I wanted to join the circus. I think I think that was right around the age when we were doing a lot of aerial and juggling and all sorts of circus arts activities and I think that about that age is probably what I would have said. Sounds familiar. Yeah. Um and what's the most impactful advice you've ever received, whether it was when you were ten year old Sarah wanting to join a circus or even recently? Man, I think there's lots of incredible advice. The one that comes to mind just because it happened this last weekend was if you ever want to change yourself or learn more about yourself, change your environment. Mm -hmm. And so just like taking yourself out of a situation and putting yourself in a totally new situation affords this amazing opportunity to discover new and different sides of yourself and find different interests and different um, passions that you might never knew you had otherwise. So just changing your environment and that that's a very good and healthy thing to do. And speaking of different facets of a person, I've heard you might have played the violin at some point. So was that a career you were hoping to pursue? You know, um, I grew up entirely surrounded by music. Uh, my mother was a violin teacher and she started all of us when I was about this big and could barely hold a Cracker Jack box <laughs> shaped violin. Um, but it's been a part of who I was the entire time. Um, I can't say that I ever really thought I would pursue a career in music. Mm -hmm. um, I think my mom would have loved it if I had. But I think it more importantly has just become really ingrained in who I am and allowed me to see the world in a specific way. And there's I think this is a really good example of even if you are in the arts, it doesn't mean you're limited to the arts. You can, you can do science, you can be both, and you're actually more mm -hmm. whole as a person if you can see both sides of that and experience both of them. So what do you think was your favorite subject at school? I think it changed over the years. For many years it was probably handwork and getting to create stuff, handwork, woodwork, even like blacksmithing, like stuff where you get to create stuff with your hands. And then probably in high school was more on the math side, which is probably what led me into engineering ultimately. Mm -hmm. um, but I think they're related in lots of ways. Um, well, since your lovely colleagues are over there, do you have a special bond with them, knowing that you're going to share such an incredible experience with them? I love my crew. I think they're fantastic. Um, I don't think I could have picked a better crew if I had a real say in the matter. Um, but 
I couldn't have picked better. So mm -hmm. uh, we're going through all sorts of crazy shenanigans together, <laughs> and I think this is going to be a life-changing experience. But um, I'm really appreciative that I get to go through it with them. Um, what were your majors in college, major or majors, or? Yeah, so I actually, we're here at CU today, and I came to CU to study aerospace engineering. I started actually undefined within general engineering, and then eventually <laughs> chose to go into aerospace. Um, at CU, though, I also did a minor in dance, and I don't think I finished it. I'm pretty sure I got through all of the hands-on <laughs> classes, and then I stopped taking all of the acad like academic and uh, just lecture-based classes. So I don't think I fully finished it, but it was a great balance to engineering overall to just have something super creative and then something super kind of intellectual. Well, it's so inspiring to hear all these things because I'm interested in writing, Okay. obviously. This is great. And I'm also interested in math and engineering and being a Waldorf child also, some art. Yeah, and, and you can do all those things. Um, let's see. How does your family feel about you going into space? Um, I think overwhelmingly, mostly just incredibly excited. Mm -hmm. um, it's certainly not a question you, or not a statement you expect to hear, I'd say. Um, but they're really supportive, and I just think that they're going to, this whole process is going to change all mm -hmm. of us. And in that same vein, who do you think is your biggest role model or even your hero? I probably would have to say my grandmothers. Um, I think both of them were women well before their time and just incredibly strong people that have helped me see how to, how to be in this world and how to face anything that comes at you. So I think that's probably my grandmothers. All of my peers and teachers at Shiny Mountain are so proud to hear that one of us is going to space. So do you have any message for them or even for just the world that you would like to share? I think specifically for the teachers is just a thank you for investing in each student that comes through. Um, I think I would not be who I am without the teachers that I had along the way and allowing them to frankly helped me grow and become the person that I am. And I know at Shining Mountain and I know at many schools, teachers are very, very influential in how a person grows and their perspectives on the world. Um, and I could not have asked for a more supportive and um, just more wonderful group of individuals to have helped raise me. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah. This is amazing.